Alright, hello YouTubers, this is Mr. Future Zoologist, Jordan. Um, and today I'm here to do a couple of lovebird updates. And just a couple things on the lovebirds, um, food, uh, just other stuff. I'll go along, I'll like, think of what I'm gonna say as I go along. And I have a little surprise at the end. I don't know if it's a surprise, but just like a little announcement. Alright. So first, I'm going to start off talking about Lovebird's food. Um, lately, thanks thanks to... Who is it? Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to search up their name on YouTube right now. It's a well-known... Um, well-known... Um, what am I trying to say? A well-known... They're well-known... Well-known YouTubers. Um, and their name are, their name is Star, Stargate, Stargates 4, or True Love Aviary, um, whatever you want to call them. Um, I saw one of their videos, it's an old video, like a couple years old, um, but it was talking about, it was talking about lovebird food. So, and it was talking about how it's not too good to just give them, um, seeds and pellets and they feed them a different variety of treats and stuff so I made a couple of treats myself and it can help you out or a friend um, to give them a variety of food and to keep them healthy and also I got some help from this book right here let me go get it the book that I got help from is a new a New Owner's Guide to Love Birds, or Just Love Birds, by Nikki Mozaki. There's a nice picture on the back. And it just pretty much talks about all the stuff that you need to know about having a love bird. And I'm about to finish reading it. I got it for Christmas. Um, and it's a really good book. I would recommend it. You can find it at like your local pet store. Um, I think that's where my mom got it from. She got it from, I think, my local pet supermarket on University and Sunrise. So, yeah, that's the book. The first thing that I got right here, this is a bunch of fruits and vegetables, and it's a chopped up mixture that I free that I don't freeze. They're refrigerated, so they stay nice and um, like they stay good, good. Um. It's a mix of of carrots. The orange stuff is carrots. And you have like a little bit of the of the green stuff is a bunch of romaine lettuce, broccoli sprouts, and celery and parsley. I also put pineapple and tomatoes for a good flavor of juice. Uh, and there's some there's a couple of pineapples slices that you can see. But mostly you can see the carrots and the broccoli. That's pretty much what's, what's in it, mostly. And how I do this is I just add it with their food. Their normal, regular pellet and seed diet. Um, I just add it with that and then I mix it around so it's everywhere inside the food. And they can eat that with it to give them a good variety and to... Uh, help them because they need like a lot of those fruits and vegetables have the nutrients that they need to be healthy. Another mixture I made was a you know, another refrigerated meal. It's not too appetizing when it comes to looks. It is a mixture of rice bananas, uh, romaine lettuce, carrots, spray millet, and regular old seeds. And how I use this is I will I will just add that with their food as well. I'll probably put it like just the base of the food, base of the bowl. And it has a good variety of food and it also has good nutrients so that's why I use that. And how I made this vegetable mix is I took a bunch of vegetables that I bought, that my mom bought from Publix, and um, I put it in this mini chopper that I got, that my parents got for Christmas. 
and uh, I chop it up in there, and you just put it in a plastic bag, refrigerate it so it stays nice and good, and then you add it with the food. And then for this rice mixture, I did, I boiled the rice first, because obviously it needs to be cooked, because dried rice isn't too good. Um, so I boiled the rice, then I took the rice out and put it in this plastic container, and then I took their regular Higgins Premium Pet Vita Seed, which has a bunch of small pellets, some sunflower seeds, pell um, pellets, small seeds, a bunch of different good stuff. I boiled that with it. I chopped up some carrots, lettuce, and banana, and I put it in there as well. And then I put a, a strand of spray millet. So that I put that. I boiled that after in a in the same bowl with about half with about halfway. It depends on how big your um your pot is. But I just kind of like went by reasoning and put enough water in there for it to boil. I boiled it for like maybe like two or three minutes. Then I took it out and then I added it together. I mixed it around. Then I put it in this plastic container. And I also refrigerate that. And this is how it looks after you mix all three together. What I do is I add the rice bowl, I add the rice mixture to the bottom of the bowl. Then I do midway of vegetables and fruit mixture. And then at the very top, I do about a cup of a cup of um of their seed and pellet. But when I say cup, not like a me not like in a measuring cup. I do it in like um one of those cups that they give you for laundry detergent and you have to scoop the detergent up and put it inside the um, washer I use one of those cups but I obviously clean out the bowl or the scooper so that it's not infected with all the stuff inside the detergent and stuff like that so don't start yelling at me because I did this um, and then I mix it around so that they have a good variety or yeah like so it's all mixed together and you probably can't see it, but you can see, oh, I can see that they ate some of the seeds. They ate a lot of the spray millet that was inside. They ate some of the rice, a couple pellets. So they're still getting used to this mixture. Let me straighten out the camera. That's too high. Alright. So that's just the mixture and the food. Also, what I've been doing lately is I've been adding paper shredding inside of their cage in a bowl so that they can pick it up and shred it up. Now with paper shredding, make sure that the paper that you're using is free of ink or writing, no pencil or pen writing on here or marker or anything like that, because if they chew it and in ingest the paper, then that'll be bad for them. So make sure it's a plain piece of paper, put it in a paper shredder or just cut it up and it'll be fine. Um, I put it in a bowl and they take it out and they shred it up. Um, what else is there? I'm gonna buy them their own shreddable toy soon. It's like a shreddable caterpillar toy. Uh, excuse me. For, from Petco, like, four dollars. Um, so that, I'm gonna put it in their case so that they can shred it up. And they shredded up one of the sides of their, of their hut so that I can only hook one side to the cage. So if they shred the other side, then I don't have to buy a new one. Um, what else is there for them? Um, Zazu might be a female and Nala might be a male because I always see Nala feeding Zazu, which is what the males would do to the females. And I see Nala having a little bit too much fun with her happy hut. So he might, Nala might be a he, and Zazu might be a she. So I'll find out maybe later on in my time having them. Um, any updates with the parakeets would be that they are still waiting for their cage. As you can see, back right there, where my fingers pointing, that is their cage that they are living in right now. And I'm going to be buying a new flight cage for them that'll go right here where that laundry basket is. Maybe right there. It'll go right there. And um, I'm getting bunk beds for me and my brother. My brother's bed is right there. 
right there. And that the bunk bed will probably go right where the bookshelf is. Like laying, laying like, like that. Laying like that. Um, so that's probably where the bunk beds will go. And then I'll put the flight cage in here. And then once their bird cage is gone, I will be selling it on Craigslist. So if you want it, go on Craigslist and you can find it. Not now. Uh, later on, maybe a couple weeks. Um, and it'll, there'll be a picture of it so you can tell. And that's the only thing that I'm selling. Just the cage. Everything else is staying. Uh, except maybe the bowls. I might sell the bowls because they're not going to fit in the new cage. So I'll sell the bowls with it probably. Um, and I'm going to sell it for $50. I got it for um, 65 65 to 70 So I'm going to sell that and with the $50 that I get from it, I'm going to buy my new gerbil cage because I'm getting gerbils so I'm going to buy the gerbil cage and I'm going to use some of the money for like their, their um, accessories and the, the gerbils themselves and they will go right there where the parakeets are at they'll go right there next to Smokey I'm getting two I'm going to get two males from Petco um, they're going to be named Simone and Pumbaa um, as of now, they'll be named Timon and Boomba. Maybe later I'll change the name. And they're like, they're $11 at Petco. So it'll be $22 for both of them. I'm gonna get a, the Crit, Super Pet Critter Trail Discovery, the, the Deluxe Discovery Habitat. Or like, or the, uh, large, or the large clear view habitat. I don't know. Um, and I went to the, I just got um, done washing my mom's car, and then I walked up to the pet supermarket by my house, and I, I just got back, and I bought two things. I bought, I don't know, you probably won't be able to see it, but it was a Higgins premium pet food uh, treat stick for Zazu and Nala. It was a vegetable and fruit mix, and they liked that. I put it near one of the perches and they eat that up. And then for the gerbils, which is a really good price, um, let me go get it. It is the loop de loop accessory kit. There's the loop de loop and the other tubes that come with it. It's for ham regular size hamsters, gerbils, mice, or dwarf hamsters. Um, and it's a really good. As you probably know, I have that for the for Smokey. He has that same exact thing. Um, so there, I'm hoping that they like it as well. I got it for nine dollars when at regular price price it is twenty two dollars. And then on Amazon, I was going to get it for 15 So I guess they had like a really good sale. And I'm so happy because I got it for $9. Plus I got that treat. So pretty much I got, like, bought, bought all that stuff for about $11. But then I used the coupon and one of my mem membership cards. And it ended up being like $8. So that's really good. Um, and then any stuff about Smokey is he's doing fine by himself now without Darwin, which was... I was sad to get rid of Darwin about two months ago, but he is happier. Smokey's happier. Um, he's been eating out of my hand, crawling on my hand, um, nesting in his tubes, and using just a bunch of different stuff that my mom, that uh, he has in his cage. Um, and the uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And yogurt, as you all know, my Malshi puppy that I got. December 9th, December 9th, a couple of days before December, uh, before, a couple of weeks before Christmas, he is a male Malshi, a black and white, with a little bit of brown, he just got his shots yesterday, yeah, he just got shots yesterday, he got a puppy package at Petco, he got the first shots yesterday, he's gonna get the next two shots, or the next pack of shots, group of shots, um, in two weeks on January 28th, and then he'll finally be able to go outside, and I can walk him. 
Um, and he's been playing with all his toys. He's been he's doing better with potty training. He's been coming to his listening and like um coming to his name. And he's been what else has he been doing? He's still biting, so that's that. That's not good, but it's really he's really cute. Um, and what else? Oh, sorry. I was watching TV for a couple seconds. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. What was I going to say? Oh, he just turned 12 weeks this Friday. Oh, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, he is getting older and bigger. And he's really adorable. And here's the colors of gerbils that I do want. I want that black one right there, a black and white, or a, a brown, a brownish gray one like that. And here's my list of all the stuff that I'm getting. Oh yeah, it says hamster igloo. Um, I have a bigger size igloo for Smokey now, but it takes up so much room in his cage that I'm just gonna buy him a, I'm gonna buy him a, a itty bitty size one. So. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Um, hope you didn't get too bored from this video. I was kind of rambling. Um, so yeah, I th hope this video helped you out. Comment, rate, subscribe. Like. Do not dislike. Um, and I guess that's it. Bye.